I was working the graveyard shift solo when Eileen Dumont, the ex-Manhattan socialite, rolled into my life. It wasn't Eileen Dumont's death that had such a profound effect on me, but the fact that she had on the Jimmy Choo pumps I'd been looking all over for. And in my size. There must be a god. Which got me to wondering. The girls and I wanted to see. Does dating the deceased cause less problems than dating the living? The problem with these stiffs is that they don't stay still. <laughs> you know, for me, it's the same whether they're alive or dead. I'm still an annoying bitch of a character. <laughs> well, my cadaver's sweet, and he's a great listener. I don't even mind the bullet holes. <laughs> and it's still impossible to get them to pleasure you. Mm. Oh, who needs them? Just reach in their mouths and tear their tongues out. They break off quite easily. <laughs> Ew! Gary, what about rigor mortis? Mr. Reagan, I don't know. I mean, the sex was great, but there was something missing. It's called a pulse, honey. <laughs> I've come to realize that no relationships are without problems, whether with the living or dead. In the end, here where people's lives end, I've decided to stick with the living because they're more likely to buy me a Gucci bag. Which we all know is to die for.